The advanced software includes a calendar view that will show you all previously logged events on the days they took place, as well as showing the target date for any crop plan or task that have been created. This view is a unique way to summarize, view, and edit your data. The calendar displays data as events or spans of data based on a selected grouping. This data can be viewed in a summary window and can even be mapped. In this tutorial, you will learn how to view data in the calendar, modify the data groupings, and view and print the calendar, maps, and summaries. To begin, click on the Calendar tab in the Management tree. The tab should update and you will now see a calendar displayed where the Management tree was previously. The calendar will default to show the current month. The area above the calendar displays the tools available for working with this calendar view. Adjust the date to a time when you have logged data, such as the month and year that you have been harvesting with a yield monitor and GPS receiver. The date can be changed by selecting the number you want to edit and either typing in a number or using the arrow keys on the keyboard to adjust the values. You can also click on the drop-down arrow next to the calendar icon and a small calendar will open and you can select the data by clicking on that. After adjusting the date, the calendar will update and each day that a task was recorded will contain a gray box named according to the year, product, and operation that it represents. If you left click on one of the tasks, the summary window will update and show the details of that task as well as a total line at the bottom. The preview window in the lower left hand corner will also update with a map of the selected operation. Both the summary and map can be printed from the calendar tab. You can modify the view in which your data is being displayed using the view drop down. You can choose between month, week, and day depending on the desired level of detail. The calendar data grouping will allow you to make modifications to how the data is being grouped in the calendar. By default, it is grouped by product and operation, but if you click on the Adjust Data Grouping button, you can modify this. There are two tabs available in the Select Calendar Data Grouping window. The Select Management Items and Properties tab will allow you to modify how the calendar will group the data it displays. You can modify the settings so that events are displayed by field, year, product, and operation, or by vehicle, field, and operation. There are no limitations on how the data can be grouped except for what information you recorded data actually contains. The Select Date Grouping tab will allow you to choose if the data is grouped in spans and what day of the week the grouping should start on. The last tool available in the Calendar tab is the Data Filter tool. After clicking on this tool, the Select Data Filters dialog will open and you can limit the data that you are viewing by selecting only the management items you wish to see. To unfilter the calendar, return to the Filter tool and set the Management Filters back to All. You have now learned how to view the data in the Calendar tab, modify the calendar settings, and review summaries and maps of the data. Please review the other tutorials to learn how to utilize other key features of the software.